Sewing with spandex and swimmer fabric can be scary. Not only is this type of fabric stretchy, but it can also be slippery. This video will offer some tips to make sewing with swimwear fabric easier. Make sure you pick a good project. You want projects that have negative ease because this type of fabric should be fitted and stretched. It's best for swimwear, athletic wear, dance costumes, and similar garments. Choose a good quality fabric. It can come either as a two-way or four-way stretch. When you stretch it, it should recover its original shape quickly. If you can't find it in fabric stores, look online. You'll notice on the back of the patterns, there will be a stretch guide so that you can choose a fabric that will stretch enough to work with the pattern. This fabric doesn't shrink, so you don't need to pre-treat it before cutting, but if you want to wash it, put it on a delicate cycle with cold water and air dry. Stretch your fabric. The direction with the greatest degree of stretch should go perpendicular to the grain line on the pattern so the stretchiest way is going around your body. Keep this in mind when placing your pattern pieces. If using straight pins and scissors to cut, put the pins within the seam allowance area as they can damage the fabric. Or use a rotary cutter and mat with fabric weights. This way you can keep your fabric flat on the table and won't stretch it as you're cutting out your pieces. When putting pieces together, use clips instead of straight pins. For a thread, use something that's 100% polyester or all-purpose. It'll have a little more give than 100% cotton thread. For a needle, you want something with a ballpoint tip. Use a stretch needle as it's usually coated to make it go between fibers easier. For size, pick something to go with the fabric weight like 8012. It's essential you choose the correct stitch type. Use a stretch, zigzag, or three-step zigzag to sew. This will allow the seam to stretch without breaking any thread. For the presser foot, you can use either a walking foot, which makes it feed through the machine evenly, or you can use a Teflon foot and lower the presser foot pressure a little. When sewing, hold onto your threads and don't start completely on the edge of the fabric, but a little ways away from it. If the fabric keeps getting sucked into the needle plate, put a small piece of tissue paper between the fabric and the needle plate to help stabilize it. You can tear off the paper when finished. When sewing, stretch the fabric slightly by holding on the back and front. Don't stretch it too much. Your seams may have a slight wave to them because it was stretched. To finish seams, you can either use pinking shears, do a zigzag stitch, or use fold over elastic to bind the edges. When doing hems, use a twin needle. We have a link in the description for a specific tutorial for this. Also test by sewing on scraps of fabric to see if you need to make any adjustments to the tension and if the seam has enough stretch to it. This type of fabric can't handle a high heat, so be careful when pressing. Use a lower heat on your iron and use a press cloth to protect it. Some spandex fabric can become transparent or will need extra stabilization. If you want to add a lining, consider using a Trico fabric. While sewing with spandex and swimwear fabric isn't for the faint of heart, you can create some really beautiful items from it. Our book, Professor Pincushion's Beginner Guide to Sewing, Garment Making for Nervous Newbies, is now available to order. Go to professorpincushion.com forward slash books or click on the link in the description to see a list of vendors where you can purchase it.